What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Looks like we're in part six. Let's go to load game and we'll start this one. The sexy part six. The what? The sexy part six. Are we too loud? I can't tell. Sometimes you're hacking and whacking and then you're chopping that meat, you know? Audience, let us know if we are too loud. The last thing we did was we got the Bolt 52 and then we gave it to Graham. Was that his name? Graham? Yeah, and then we murdered him. No, we murdered the Indian gentleman. No, the Bolt 52 we gave to the Indian, the Indian gentleman. Oh, yeah, and then we murdered the Indian gentleman. Yes. Right. But apparently we missed out on a way to bring peace to all. Well, you can't, you can't bring peace to everybody, Michael, you know? He's hacking. He's whacking. He's chopping that meat. I always want the base health. Range damage seems good. <clears throat> Look at all these perks. Yeah, just do. Yeah, that's fine. Should give him some better gear too. Well, you should give him better gear. We don't have any better gear, Michael. Well, we can give him a helmet at least. Oh wow! Here you go. There you go. Now you look like a friggin' moment as a flame thrown player. Grenade launcher, huh? Okay. Well, he's hacking. He's whacking. He's chopping that meat. Give him a little pistol. Pew 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 pew. pew. All right, so <sighs> now we're gonna travel to Phineas's lab and speak with him to discuss the next steps. Peace out. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. He's hacking. He's whacking. He's chopping Mike B. I'm pouring my Gatorade. Mm, yes, I like Thank having a lemon lime Gatorade. Man, I'm so glad you're just always commenting on my life. It's great. No, yeah, you're welcome. It's like a, it's beautiful, really. Yeah. You know what? I uh, I like to keep it real, Michael. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> no. Michael, do you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Hello. Can you hear me? Does this work? Yeah, bro. Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. But I, I can hear you, so you I'm can... I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. <clears throat> exciting. Oh, that is exciting. Uh, what's so important about these chemicals? Mm. If I had time in several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. <clears throat> Alright, so what's the plan, Chief? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Okay. 
Anything I should know about this Carmen Iwagawa? Actually, there's something else I want to talk to you about. Warning label. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. <clears throat> Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Uh, is there some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof lines? That's a good question. I was oh, wondering that. I uh, do experiments in that room. Uh, some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. That's suspicious AF. Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? <laughs> Don't you ever leave your lab? Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least twelve seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Uh, it's not what I meant. Do you have some kind of life outside your work? Come on, there has to be something you do for fun. We could test out that theory <laughs> if you want. Jeez. Uh, Beans and toilet paper. Who'd ask for no, more? Exactly. Of course not. My life is my work. Beans and toilet paper. For that matter, burn, everyone burn, else's burn, lives burn, are also burn. my work. An entire colony's worth of lives are at stake. It's up to me, uh, up to us, to set things right. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. Hmm. Uh, why are you so obsessed with arriving the Hope's colonists? Must be hard to leave your lab with a bounty on your head. How's that coming along, by the way? Let's... Because we've lost our mm. way, the board has a stranglehold over this colony, and we've all been conditioned into total obedience. The Hope is full of specialists, scientists, engineers, talented individuals like you, people who haven't been corrupted by the board. Unfortunately, the Hope's colonists have been frozen for decades, well past your shelf life, so to speak. Mm. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you revived me, so you must have solved the problem. Wow, Fanny, you seem to work on your social skills. Uh, you're just... Ah, you begin to perceive the truth. Yes, according to the board and their narrow-minded scientists, you should be a pile of organic sludge right now. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. Get it? Don't try to be funny, Phineas. It doesn't work. Thanks for the chat. I best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. Something not right about this guy, man. Yeah, I agree with you. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapons damage and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skills increased. I think it has to be alive, bro. <clears throat> no, not bubbles. Yeah, I'm like... You can talk to him? Well, you did save it, so you might as well shrink him. Some damage to him, but not much. Beans and Mac B. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. 
Not the best flip in the world, but you know, you got there. <clears throat> Y'all think 28% is good? It's not great. It's pretty good, man. It's basically a guarantee. No, no, it's really not. It's basically the highest you can get next time. All these pigs. Hey, man. They're the worst, bro. Mop up melted pig. Wow. Sealed. Fascinating. I don't know, man. Something's fishy. I don't trust this gentleman. He's like the world's most generous terrorist. I thought your dad was the world's most generous terrorist. Why would you think that? I don't know. Because of his connections to Osama Bin Laden. I didn't know about that. Yeah, it's because he left too soon. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Probably not already filled out me? this time. Open that. Cool, light assault rifle. Thanks. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? You can't, JK. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. All right, journal. Where are we going? That place. Okay. Byzantium. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. What up, Cabalin? My dad. <clears throat> That's your dad? That's right, buddy. You're just gonna leave your punch here? Stupid idiot. It's not gonna fix itself. Don't we have repair drones for that kind of thing? This was a repair drone. Hey, buddy. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. You're meeting us. Roll your eyes and sigh dramatically. Do it. I, oh, oh, you mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Uh, why do you sound so surprised? Let's keep this moving when you have information for me. Well, two is more interesting. Nothing, it's just, I thought you'd be taller. That's rude. Anyway, let's not get hung Messed up on up. that. The Phoenix is a wanted man <clears throat> and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Uh, the Phoenix? Yeah, that's my code name for, you know, our mutual friend. Oh, I do know. No, I don't know. What's your code name? Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Okay. Do I have a code name? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Cuckoo? She named you Cook? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> No way, I'm Golden Eagle. You can be Cuckoo. That doesn't even make... Fine. Fine. Oh, oh, oh! Can I be Chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be Raven? Or Sparrowhawk? Aww. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. This is amazing. Can we pick our own code names? I want to be... Rolling Thunder! Wait, no, I got it. Dropkick Millstone! Yeah! I was really trying to stick with the bird theme. How about Bullfinch? Wow, what a 
just so much better. Bullfinch Millstone. Okay, but adding your last name kind of misses the point. <laughs> anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Uh, can't you give me another minister's estate? There's got to be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected. How exactly did you get involved in all this anyway? Looks like I've got work to do. Definitely not four. I like one. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Can't you get into the... Can, can you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Okay. That's theft, not reconnaissance. Thanks for the Just tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Okay. Looks like I've got work Good to do. Good hunting, Golden Eagle. Pew, 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 Thanks, pew. Thanks, Cuckoo. I wonder if they were trying to say Cuckoo, but then they said Cuckoo instead, and I was like, what? Uh... Oh, jeez. You should save and shoot one of those people with the, the gun. Wow. Oh, now you're telling me to shoot people Well, it's with a shrink gun. gun. Well, not her. I Why guess not? you could use her. Doesn't matter. I saved her. I don't think you can work on her. She's like a quest lady. Here we go. Oh, it did work. Oh, shit. She, she done. Oh, there she is. Was that her? Yeah. Oh boy. That was fun. Was it? Now that was fun. Jesus. It's getting dark. All right, Michael, now that you've had your fun. God, I just play around too much. <laughs> That's like my one time I've ever requested that. Speak to the Mrs. Guard, speak to Mr. Clark. How do I get over there? Also, I am super tired, guys. So if I yawn a bunch, that is why. In the, how long is this elevator? God. Let's go, elevator. Got the elevator music and all. Oh, we're in like some Bioshock. Why can't something Anti Creo Spatial Mask and Cream. Nothing wrong. You it's stupid. Fresh and tingling. It means not everything's running like clockwork. Look hours. at these wealthy citizens. Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? Thing to say. Everyone knows Ooh, down there, a new ship. Doesn't look like any of the corporate freighters. But what would they be doing here? And how did we ever get beans and mock beans? Like a legit city. Hey, you. Yeah, you. The million bit smile. How'd you like to make it worth ten million? You get out of here. That was very rude. You stop it. It's only got five bits. This gun's pretty good. So you gonna reload now or? What do you mean? <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh, look, none of these. Oh, they Gotta get this dude, right? So might as well just uh You wanna make enemies with an entire city? This seems bad. Does it seems terrible. What if we kill everybody in the city? Then we get no quest from them, we get no cool dialogue. Fine, Michael. If we're gonna play the game that way, we should restart. Just kill everybody. Hey, Alright, let's see what this guy wants. Yeah. Kid, you got presents. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. I like where this is going. Tell you what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? Does working for a mad scientist count? I consider myself freelance. What? No. A mad scientist? Guy sounds like he's moonlighting. Here's some free advice. If you want to make it in this business, <laughs> damn, what's work going with on? Professionals. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Uh, just tell me what you're offering. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's going to be a hit. But we still need a star, and I think you got the chops. <laughs> Already got an entourage, huh? Way to get ahead of the game. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Yeah, man. Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Nice. Okay, well, that, we go. that was... Oh, my bad. <laughs> Now you have to read it all. I actually thought I saved it beforehand. Oh my god! And now I feel bad because. Hey you! God Here, damn it! All right. Got presence, natural magnetism. Do you know what I? Uh, I like where this is going. Let's... Uh, certain mad scientist. <laughs> Your pals. So what do you say? I mean, okay. Now we're saving it. Now I'll shoot. No, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> How many people? Please do you don't die? do it again. No, don't go down the elevator, man. Prosperity Plaza, more like Consumption Junction. Get it? You think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings? Oh, look, cute cat. Let's see how that works out. Oh, just fine. Okay. Kyber crystal bits, Dan. <laughs> oh, man. Dan's, you are awesome. But what color, Kyber crystal? Hmm? Okay. What? Looks like we're doing this. Oh, wow. Gotta be more sneak. Oh, God damn it. Well, crouch. Well, no, because I think I tried to do it and then I saved it and then I tried to do it again. You see how, like, they're red now? Unless I can just get out of here. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a restricted area. Acrophobia. After repeatedly falling from great heights, you no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you. Dexterity, perception, and temperament minus one to get a perk point. That one may have been worth it. Oh, wow. But I also am fine with the no perks. No extra perks for jerks. No perks for jerks. You guys familiar with the no perks for jerks program? What's gone into Bachmeister? I think that might have been the optional way to go. 
Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of House Chairman Yard. Rockwell. Is this? You have a rather exotic presence. I hear mock the Emerald Veil. Okay, you're just saying a bunch of bullshit. They're just saying some bullshit. Guard Mayfield. Hey, 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 stand back. You. I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail. And that means you got to keep five feet back at all times. <sighs> Are you supposed to drink on the job? I didn't know I was talking to such a big shot. Calm down. I was just looking for the bathroom. Black Kyber crystal. Nice. Solid. Which one? What are you doing? What are you doing with your mouth, man? Huh? What the hell are you doing with your mouth? Nothing. Nothing. You said one? Just got an ice cube, that's all. Of course not. <laughs> But I'm not on the job right now. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Oh. What's so important about Garden Minister Clark? Anything you can tell me about Minister Clark? What's so important about this guy? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard wow. in the colony. What a big shot. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key the minister's estate my own personal udl assist issued shotgun <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone a key you say that's right not just anyone is allowed to have a key to minister clark's residence it's all so very high level anything you tell me mr clark how about i buy you a drink to celebrate promotion yeah let's do that that's a great idea. I'll have a Spectrum vodka. Give this man. I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. This is how Mike sounds once he gets that tequila powerful in him. good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum vodka for a new pal? Uh, I don't have any Spectrum Vodka. Anything you can tell me about Mr. Mr. Clark? Should we just go get a Spectrum Vodka? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Chef Bot. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple Spectrum Vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. I could use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant. Great. Located just over there. Aren't you the bartender? Quite so. But I would never lower myself to do something as gauche as tending bar. What? My auto mechanical <laughs> assistant does all the work for me. I don't think you understand how this works. Robot. And what is your point, buddy? Robot. Oh, god damn it. I guess you're a food robot, you're a bar robot. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. This is just fucking fallout. I'll have a drink. Do 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 there we go. Let me get one of these bad boys. Uh how do I I just want one. Thanks, Chief. Scap. Hey, buddy. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? No, no, no. Here's their promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? Byzantium is super pretentious. Friends. That is definitely the impression I'm Wow. Got. Listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere <laughs> who am i kidding i could i could have another you got another i knew i should have bought more than one i'm just gonna buy like four he's allowing me to file 10 minutes your drinking experience tell me what to do you're not my I fucking drink daddy aren't i though I'll get five. How's that? He's gonna want. I'm not exactly made of money, nine. Michael. Hey, 
Hey, you look familiar. Have we? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Right. Wow. You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, a manosaur. <laughs> you got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Here, I have another one, bro. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. That's a problem for tomorrow. <laughs> you know, that's a very good point. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. Hey man, give me that key card. Make sure you didn't leave it behind. Oh yeah, I'm gonna follow you. I just need to sit down. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks, you stupid idiot. Yeah. Now go speak to Minister Clark. Don't tell me what to do, Michael. I'm tired of you. We're playing a game, Frank. So what do you think of the game? I get to have night? input, okay? I still can't God. believe Armstrong ran the field from the Tuesday zone. Um, yeah. Armstrong's really something. Nearly took a fellow's head clean off with a toss ball stick. Yeah, well he's a hacker, okay, that's what they so... do. Rangers don't show a shred of mercy in a darling's game. Oh, they talking about football? Bates got tossed out of the game. Is it me, or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. <laughs> uh, I'll pick up this triplicate pasta pack and some sisty chops. That sounds disgusting. Mmm, I love sisty chops. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the uh, I got a card, bro. Policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Wow. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure, I was the minister expecting delivery? Minister Clark's a private man. And you're asking too many questions. Damn it. Okay, bye. Thanks. Guess like you have to go through the back route. Should probably save before this. Or save now. I saved before I talked to him, so worst case scenario, I want to go back and talk to that dude and be like, "Yeah, I'm a courier. Where's the package? Gotta go. See you later. Bye." You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh! Fuck! You're gonna make me kill you, aren't you? Heads up! God damn it! Oh, this is one way to do it, I guess. Look, we're fine. We made Let's it try in. that conversation again. Don't tell me what to do again. just satisfying sometimes you just want to get some well if you want to go kill him again well here I go kill him again well I, apparently I think there was a new Rick and Morty episode tonight yeah there this was property tonight. is off limits solicitors loiterers and uninvited visitors will be fined to the, this ultimate okay I'm here for Mr. Funny? Clark was it sure I am sure you are and what is it you're delivering today uh my dad I didn't bring it with me <laughs> typical why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Shit. So close. Um, okay, so... Yeah, let's retrieve the parcel. Let's retrieve... So here's the thing about Tossball. Tossball is played from the heart. It's played from the heart, Michael. Okay, I'm with you so Everybody far. knows that, stupid. Play from the heart. Easy. There are other schools of thought. Some say you gotta use your head to play toss ball. 
Those Dang it, where's the cushions? How do I get there? Oh gosh, that sounds um. You gotta go down. Really dangerous. That's him. Don't spot a celebration of danger. Take the hacker. The hacker's job is to travel right through the enemy's defense. I think that I'll be okay. Riggs, fella by the name of Take it easy, Take it. Oh, it's totally fine. To name in three non-consecutive seasons. Why do they call him Take It Easy Tatum? Remember my eyes. Like a little sleepy boy. Woo! Okay, so. Well, he's not looking, so. Michael, I'm not going to break the law just because someone's not looking. Oh. You have to break the law. God damn it. I'm not a criminal, Michael. I'm not like you. Sure you are. And you gave up already? I heard them because I wasn't. I didn't want to like get caught, dude. Hey, buddy. Look, they're in his way. He can't even get by. How you doing? Uh, uh, there you go. Okay, I'll see you later. Turn the corner. And... Hold it right there. Hey! Oh, son of a bitch. What? What do you think oh. you're doing? Okay. Nothing at all. Intimidate whatever I want. I was just leaving. That's well, nothing at all. I don't have time for this. Okay. Long. What if I crouch? Staying out of sight. Nicely done. I want to go to the window. Where are you? What? Probably stay away from that window. Just shut the hell up about the window, you stupid Mitch. I didn't care enough. <laughs> What's this? A buy a pen. I gotta steal these things. I have a I have a job to do, Michael. Oh yeah! Look, they stood up. They're like, "All right, we're gonna get up because you leveled up. You deserve it." You were you playing. Walk right. Oh no, you got lucky. Right. I don't think he's red anymore, so I don't think he cares. I don't think he gives a shit. I am, I, up. I am playing a game without any elks, that is true. You don't know, there could be elks. That's true, we have not gotten to the elk part of the game yet, so... Yeah. What was your family like, Felix? Kind of a big deal. Did you ever know him? I never knew him. I was a stowaway. That's what they call orphans who grow up in the back bays. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That must have been lonesome. Come on, Parvati. Who are you talking to? Imagine me pining after my family. Yeah, I suppose that was a touch lonesome. But hey, look at me now. I made it. I got a ship and everything. I like that he has a voice that's uh, reflected by his helmet. All right, what kind of skills are we using here? Leadership. 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 All right, it's up to fifty. Well, someone was saying that the in inspiration at sixty is OP. Okay. Let's see. Companion skills bonus player skill. Oh, yeah, that is good. One hundred percent. It says one hundred percent. That's pretty much all I need to know. Which perk are we taking, my dudes? Oh, that's crap. Chance to reset a companion ability cooldown after each critical hit. So what was that first one? Negative movement penalty to accuracy. Oh. I don't really care about that. Plus 50% science weapon damage seems pretty good. Yeah, we don't have any. We have one science weapon currently. We'll get more. God. And we can just take the that perk in the future. Isn't there like an armor one? Unlocked ability fast travel and encumbered. I don't know, man. What's the deal? The slowdown thing. Do that. 
What slow down thing? Top, top, left, left. More slow down. That actually time. seems good. The slow down thing. I'm playing side quests in Byzantium and right now I'm watching you guys. Wow, this is Byzantium Overload. Alright, so. Hey, buddy, I got the package. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Excuse me. Yeah? Let's see it. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. Alright. Go on through. Thanks, my dude. It was that easy. Seems a bit suspicious where your package delivery guy has an AK out. What are you talking about? Save here. How did you get in here? Uh, well, you see, buddy. You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! I don't know if I trust this so-called minister fella, if that is his real name. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think if so. If this is about another Aether Wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the parlance goes. <laughs> wow, that's aggressive. I'm not doing any more. Cut the crap, I'm definitely, I'm here for the dimethyl sulfoxide. What are you talking about? Why would I want something like that? It seems like we're getting off on the wrong foot. Four? Yeah. Have I not made myself clear? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. <laughs> Calm down, I'm just here asking some questions. Call me more and again and I will end you. Oh jeez. I like then no. You're not part of Rockwell's PR. Are we gonna team. say the end you? Yeah. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? Finally! High time we got the recognition we deserve. And so affable. Why, you're nothing like the crazed hooligans the board loves to caricature. But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? I'm here for the dimethyl sulfoxide, my dude. Drugs, of course. What else? <laughs> Why did I get my hopes up? <laughs> Back to idiot speak. Wow, the Elker world. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all? Then? That's pretty solid. I have records proving you've been hoarding dimethyl sulfoxide. They're not drugs, they're chemicals, and if you have been ordering them, who has? I didn't come all this way to play games, Clark. It's your name on the receipts. Why do you keep talking like that? Stars are getting denser by the day. I shall endeavor to speak more slowly. Is this better? <laughs> Stop that. I understand you just fine. You... you do? Oh, this is such a relief. You've no idea how long it's been since I spoke to someone with more than a modicum of intelligence. Great. So how are you talking about these chemicals? This again? I really don't know about any chemicals. Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? Fucking Rockwell. And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You better start making sense real fast. You mean Chairman Rockwell's locked you up here? You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. So the chairman's a crook who can't be trusted? Who knew? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Rockwell. Then I'll have to deal with him. Will you expect me to believe this? Why would he go through all this trouble? Sure, like I'm going to trust a gibbering lunatic. I like three. 
How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out, and perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. If by look for details, he means knock things about and take what we like, count me in. That's certainly one way of doing things. Far be it from me to dictate your methods. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. And then we found out Elk Tears is a very old boomer who needs to go to bed on Sunday <laughs> nights. <laughs> it's Sunday night. Your kids need to go to bed. Uh, dissident Hunter. Just tell me how to get get there. The HHC headquarters. You seem like a little too excited by this. If you're saying we're headed for trouble, I'm ready for it. The HHC headquarters? Halcyon Holdings Corporation. The collective of companies that run the colony together. Oh. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth <laughs> Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. Oh man, those ten boomer bits. At any rate, I'm glad to have someone else on my side. Seriously, I wouldn't trust you to run an empty warehouse. Let's focus. How do I get to the HHC headquarters? One or two. One or two. I assure you, I, I didn't, didn't ask to be locked up and made to perform like a trained animal. But I'm attempting to make the best of an opportunity. I only hope you can do the same. Now we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis district, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Once I get to the Acropolis district, what then? A few guards don't scare me. The tunnels sound good. I prefer a quiet approach. Obvious reasons. They're rather dirty. There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty auto mechanicals, and other unsavory hazards. If that sort of thing bothers you. Oh god, I need to stop yawning. Uh, one second to the Acropolis District, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Uh, what used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. I guess that's what you read as a gilded what used to be your office. Perhaps a personal theater. A man has too much money and too little sense. Then I'll be on my... How did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Your butthole? Do I want to know? Ew, or do I want to know? Wow. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Well, thanks for your help. Are we done here? Because I've got things to do. Well, thanks Wait. for your help. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. <laughs> Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Why are you trusting me to help you? Why indeed. I know so little about you, much less your motivations. But I'm afraid I don't have many options, confined as I am. Besides, I've nothing to lose. If you're looking into Rockwell, I can only hope you're also looking out for Halcyon. What's on the cartridge? What is What's it on it box? is the real question. What's in the I've box? I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're telling us you gathered up a whole mess of evidence on the board's corruption. How big is this cartridge again? Large enough, I assure you. Get That's this whistleblower. why you must transmit the data to the Earth Directorate and hope for their speedy Topical. intervention. Hmm? Shut up. How long will that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Oh. 
Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, it's something. It's something. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Okay. Take a look. It's in a book. Michael Biscuits. Michael Biscuits. See that sick jump? See that sick air I got? Where's the where's the thing? Right. Here. The door. Oh the door. <laughs> Hey, bud. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna stop yawning. I think it's just my life now. You must be joking. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Anywhere else. How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Why, just this morning I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. What an absolute bitch. That's a rude way to greet someone, frolicking. Guys, do I frolic? The grease is part of my rugged bad boy charm. <laughs> what a coincidence. Just now I thought I'd like to sock this lady in the face. What's it gonna be, Mooch? You pick this one. Wow. Ugh, how utterly expected. You must be one of those violent vagrants I've heard tell of, wandering the system in search of brutality. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. Suck faces. Good lord, Christopher. Uh, if the board isn't supposed to let people in the city, how'd you get here? I earned my place here, just like everyone else. My grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. How does that make you? You didn't earn anything. Yeah. You were just born. Silver spoon right over here. Wait, but what did you do to earn your place here? I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. <laughs> Inheriting bits isn't the same as earning them. Of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you, it's earned. My grandfather taught me that. But, uh, uh, if you have wealth, you're successful, <laughs> this is like... and if you're successful, you must have earned it. Honestly, it's <sighs> this is like everything answer. that's wrong with the right. Uh, what's a CIO? Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Wow. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. Oh my god, he didn't even... It was oh, a very Jesus long list. Christ. Wow. What other ideas did he come up with? Let's see. He picked the colors they included in Rainbow Chips. No one else wanted purple, but he insisted. Everyone loves the purple ones. Wow, that's a good idea. And you know how the Cosmic Smokes logo has an eye in the middle of a heptagon? He said that one came to him in a dream. He was a true visionary. So far ahead of his time. So smart. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? I think I'm here for the repartee. What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful. And this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. That's a terrible attitude. You shouldn't look down on people like that. Oh, do spare me your petty judgment. It's beneath me. Millions and millions of bits beneath me. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, 
How is that fair? Well, most contests have some inherent biases, so technically... Oh, by the law. I mean the principle of it, not the mechanics. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? Hmm. No, she ain't wrong, boss. We do got a knack for getting shot at. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job nah. exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Oh, God. Why would I ever help you with something so selfish? <laughs> Did you miss the part where I said I'd pay you? That's all the reasons someone like you should require. I do like money. Oh, I, I like money. Doing it for the money would just make me selfish too, no thanks. No, it's not. Give me something better. Okay. Better than money? Let's see, there's... no. The thrill of discovery. Like in an Aetherwave adventure. People love those, right? Don't you want to see what the retirement district is like? I do like money. Fantastic. Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree, which you do. How fortunate for you. These codes will get you past the lockdown. You'll encounter security afterward, but surely you'll handle it. You are the violent sort of vagrant, after all. Oh, dear. How did you get these access the codes? The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. She has nothing on her. I think that's one of the most disappointing parts about the game is that, like, when you kill people who are supposed to have a bunch of things on them, they don't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like a rich person, she has like no money on her. You know, like a uh, like a dude that has a super cool weapon. He that you can't, you don't get that weapon. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. Excuse me? Mind if I take take a breather? I'm pretty tired after hauling around all these bits. What in the law's name are you on about? These 2,530 bits have been weighing me down all day. Here, you hold them. Oh, God. That's not a lot, really. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Well, that was easy. Yeah, this is why we don't waste all our money tinkering, Michael. It was only 2500 The board zone headquarters. Or as I like to call it, Jackass Central. Look at all these fucking nerds. Welcome to the <laughs> official headquarters of the House of oh Wow. Oh, my bad. I slipped. Well, you one-shot her, so that at least she didn't suffer. It's true. It's true. All right, where are we going? We're going in here. Captain, then... I stand out here like a big, greasy thumb. Okay, upstairs somehow. Do we really need all the security? I, I bet it's behind that. You might be right. You might, Mike, be right. Say your business. Please step away. 
This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Well, have I got some news for you. Is this official enough for you, you little biatch? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. What? You better be joking. I'm not authorized to employ humor on the job, sir. <laughs> Jesus. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? How would you say it was worth the trouble and let me through? I was going to suggest that myself. Wow. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. That's so convenient. Thank you. Fine, but I suggested it first. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Don't worry, boss. I got a plan. First, we get ourselves some tossball sticks, right? Then we sidle up to him all polite-like. Felix, don't you start. Yeah, tell the plan in front of the freaking guard. That's a great idea. I don't know, man. I didn't really think it was that... I didn't think it was that threatening, I'll be honest. With the paddle ball sticks or whatever. Well, well, well. If it isn't... You... You boy, in front of your other boy. Oh. Well, that's Excuse some sh me, just a moment. Is there something I can do for you? Look at this fancy office. The chairman's bleeding the whole colony dry. That guy stopped pursuing us? That's interesting. Uh, send Minister Clark's message to Earth. Alright. Well. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. Uh, I won't be long. I'm just admiring the architecture. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. Well, that was easy. Anyway. Hey, we need to get our chat skills up. I go in here. Yeah. What am I? What's it asking me here? Interesting. View priority message. The rough cut of the presentation. Housing on the restoration. The board signed just around solution. Workers can look for less unemployment. Print ministry card. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell. And I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Oh. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. Oh. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I what? fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living wow. in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's Good brightest Lord. minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. 
by testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not too distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. This guy's kind of a dick. Kind of? He's a dick. That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. I always knew the board was crooked, but this... This is just evil. Alright, let's GTFO. Where is... okay. Oh. Interesting. You know what game that is? What? Never mind. Oh yeah. Jump it. Hardcore Bar 4. See that air I got? I'm like Tony Hawk up in this bitch. You know who Tony Hawk is? Who that? He was that old rollerblader. <laughs> He's that rollerblading boomer. The Mini Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? Interesting. Not a door I can right. Okay, so guess we're going downstairs. Going downstairs. <laughs> Nothing here either. Okay. Bard. Okay, so it's in this building though, right? <laughs> Where is it? Okay, it's downstairs. It's down. I don't know how to get down. Uh, mm. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X36 level clearance. You think I don't have that? What level clearance? You're just making up words. Basically, if you don't work here or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Here's How's this for clearance? I don't know how you got that. But I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Oh, son of a bitch. Intimidate 60. We need to get our stuff up. Fifty. Got any way to get up there? No. Got any we got a scientist suit or something? Yeah, scientists is going to go as 10 Intimidate, because scientists are super freaky. Super freaky? Aren't we supposed to go to, like, the sewer rat or whatever? Heads up, boss! Oh, Heads they don't like that. Well, so do you. You can't even apparently shoot anybody. Wow. You missed like 30 shots from that guy. Forgot about your... Don't forget about those abilities, bro. Oh, 
Oh, these guys were terrible. Do you really want to go about it this way? I don't know. I'm debating it. I'm debating it. My disguise failed. You think? Also, my companions are still dead upstairs, so... Alright, now I have my disguise on. I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample four one. Oh. Shooting them too, huh? Calm down! Please! I don't wanna oh, die! Oh, I think I starved myself! No. Please don't. I'm sorry. This seems like a terrible way to do this. Oh, Fine. God, Michael, unbelievable. Nothing's ever good enough for you, is it? It's just the cheap way, you know? The cheap way. Mm hmm. Check your journal. No, we gotta go through the sewers, man. Michael, just shut the fuck up. Okay. Or you gotta level up some and come back when we can lie to that guy. <sighs> That's it. That's all it says. Wow, this is all no. Okay, location we have on the top floor. There's a password on there. Says the terminal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think we just have to be here for now and figure out how to do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Just to get a level. That's all we need to do, really. What? All you need to do is level up once, and we're good. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone with. What? Yeah, we just need one level. Let's do a side quest. Let's see how close we are. Uh, I don't actually think so. Oh, I guess like halfway. I think Pravardi's got a thing too. Yeah. Big deal. Pavardi. Like the cheese, Michael. Like the cheese. Alright, let's go do my audition, I guess. I've always wanted to be a star. June life grown up? Miss Tennyson? Nah, she never looked my way. I knew of her though. Who didn't? She was just about the busiest woman on the groundbreaker. You ready for my edition? I suppose so. Come on, have a good night, buddy. Nice memes. We're not gonna do this, are we? Promise me. Pictures one day. Like that? Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Great, you made it. Listen, I know you're expecting a script, but you're the real deal. Just go in there and do what feels natural. What? No, no, no! Don't. What's that supposed yourself. to mean? Just feel the scene and go with it. I got a feeling you'll know what to do. Oh, Jesus. Josh? On the big screen. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Don't think it. Just act. Oh, God. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. 
Yeah, that's... I think this level's gonna be rough, my dude. Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? Here we go. You're too late. All of this settlement CNP hungry time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler, are ours. With their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin oh content, gosh. we'll be nigh <laughs> unstoppable. <laughs> Joke's on you, idiot. Those crits are just decoys. They... they are? What an unexpected twist. You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Am I in the shot? Hang on. I'm gonna give him the old millstone glare. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. The things you just described are scientifically impossible. Hey, I didn't write this. Just go with it. I had you surrounded and outgunned. But you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. Wow. You got a real limited edition? With 10% more ammo for 12% more carnage? Wow. Quit upstaging me! I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come! Dang it. Is this where we're dumping the backstory? Because this should come up or that should come up earlier. <laughs> we screen tested that and the audiences forgot all about it. I have this whole port wired with sub micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Most of those words are made up and the ones that are real don't work like that. <laughs> Plasma's already a vapor-like kind of thing. You can't re-vaporize it. Can you? Quiet. You're supposed to be an extra. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. Let's see you try. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's seen. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. God, God. That was interesting, kid. Real novel take. Take five. God, I'm a natural. Hey, listen. Uh, I appreciate what you tried there. Um, we've got to review your footage before we make a final decision, though. You don't sound impressed. Look, sometimes you just gotta wait for your break, you know? Here, take this for making the trip down here. Don't call us. We'll call you. Man, I wonder if we could have done better. Oh, you mean the, the three or four lines where we literally broke <laughs> the fourth wall wasn't good? <laughs> I kind of want to do it over and see what happens. Yeah, but we got those juicy experience points. Yeah, that's pretty You're close, I there. guess. Plus, it was interesting. Wait, that bar, it's, what does it say? Use the password Hortense gave you to access it via terminal. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna be honest with you, I kinda like, uh, where's my tiny gun? Yeah, shrink gun while queued is not it, Right, very, it's like, it's oh, not that's, actually useful. Uh, actually 408 versus 350. Do I have a better pistol? I don't think so. Jeez. I like this guy's earlier works as Biff's buddies in Back to the Future too. You can't, you need power. You can't hover Mr. over Mr. water. All right, Adele, How right? does this sound? You're oh, a power nugget. Got him. I'm afraid I can't come down 
Dang, you bounced off that robot? Nice job. Dude, I'm like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater of Outer Worlds, bro. Yeah, just keep looking at it. Stare at the green spot. I'm trying to figure out how to get there, man. Stop being a little piece of shit. Never. Gotta get low, dog. Anti clear. If I spit, think I can hit that mechanical down well, there? I can't get I'll definitely kill you for sure. Shorty got low, low, low. All right, it's on the bottom floor. How do we get down there? I would suggest stairs. So smart. Anti-clams, antibiotics. It's comforting knowing that anything antibiotics cannot stop will probably kill you quickly. Wow. The dissidents actually took over the refinery. Okay, but now where? Like, because I'm not downstairs. Oh, how about... It must be over there. In the right middle. here. What about this door right here? Well, that takes us back to the ship, I think. Shut up. CNP. Nailed it. No, 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 nailed it. I'm not so sure you nailed it. Well, then you're a dummy. Because, buddy, it has been nailed. You don't know that yet. Oh, I'm fucking positive, Michael. That's the last of them. Finally. Is it just me, or are we getting more and more retired recently? It's not just you. It's not like a damn factory worker who's lost too much. Oh, well. Nothing of you drink won't cure. Come on, let's go hit up Bijou. Can't. They're closed. <laughs> Unseal the door. Hello. How do you do, fellow kids? Hey, around that time I told you I knew where I was going? To the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center. You, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. Beautiful. When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse, furnished exclusively Beautiful. by 24-7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. Before beginning your new life in Byzantium, our safety regulation requires you consent to the following. You here and after referred to as an employee, consent to the rules and regulations of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Early Retirement Center, HHCERC. Here and after referred to as the center. The employee confirms that they have read and understood the rules of the center as written in Article 3, Section 5, Clause 27 of the Early Retirement Welcome Packet. The employee also confirms they received this packet en route to the center. Oh, God. In the unlikely event of energy, to oh. Yeah, I can send. Some assembly required. Just gonna be a kill machine. Is not responsible for any injury, psychological damage, or divorce litigation that occurred during the assembly process. What you say? Just gonna be After a killing you machine. In, you'll have the chance to explore your new home. Here I go, kill him again. Jesus. Uh. Oh God. They just kill them all. Uh huh. Knew it. your companion abilities. I'm not sure 
going down. That's pretty good. There's a lot of of red on my screen. Unexpected noise beginning. Shock Cannon Ultra? I would like to formally request a refund on my new TNL shock handy. I advertise it as the most reliable tool for disabling rude and dis or disobedient auto mechanicals, but if you load it with an energy cell, it is covered in your own blood, it misfires. I've used TNL weapons exclusively for seven years, but if this matter is not resolved, then you'll have lost another customer. You'll also have lost another customer if I die, so you better hope I can get this blood back into my body. Wow. 393 DPS? Really? Boring! I mean... Wow. They just pulled that thing in one hit. Good lord. Well, guess I'm on my own. Here I go, kill him again. Probably want to reload this. Nailed it. What we're we putting it in? Uh, intimidate? Yes. Let's make sure. I like that there's a bunch of ammo next to it, too. They're like, you know what? Don't put it in the thing. Just give it. Oh, they're just janitors. Yeah, don't worry, those guys. They're just janitors. They're just cleaning up these bodies. All right, we're going this way. Let's see what's. Oh, unseal hatch. Okay. Well, that disabling auto mechs thing probably not super useful at this point since we killed them all. Look at all that stuff. Yeah, they're giving me a, a lot of things, and I really appreciate it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. No? Uh... No? Okay. Huh. How's that not the way? Show me the way. Didn't you unseal the hatch? What hatch, you stupid shitlord? Oh, oh it's, it's just this thing. little hatch in the corner, I guess. To the maintenance tunnels we go! Okay. You look pretty docile. You probably do, do also look docile. Okay. No, man, they're white. You good. That's racist, Michael. It does sound a little bit racist. To 
to to to to to tinker seven nineteen four oh eight. Um, it's not letting me escape. That's weird. Um. Um. Okay. Huh. That was weird. Michael, we gotta tell people about this. Michael Bees. Out with it, you wretched contraption. Here's the other thing about Tossball. Tossball, it's all about scoring goals. Scoring goals, got it. And you can score a goal by kicking the ball, throwing the ball, or, uh... Or running it. I must admit, I'm getting a certain thrill out of our little arrangement. If this goes well, perhaps I'll start hiring wandering delinquents to handle all of my affairs. It is going well, I hope. Well, the retirement district is a paradise. You should see for yourself. Uh, gotta get that XP bonus. I don't think that's true. Turns out early retirement isn't so much of a life of luxury as a brutal execution. What? You mean it's just a sham they perpetuate so they can dispose of the rabble? That's... That's... Brilliant. To Ugh. take the most burdensome members of our society and simply remove them. Oh, I'll never doubt the wisdom of the board again. Ugh. See, now we have to deal Why, with that, I too. Why, I have no reason to be envious at all. What a relief. Should reload, man. I don't remember the last time I saved, though. It's an auto-save right from there. It's fine. How long ago was that? You just want to get it for the XP, man? I really should have expected this reaction. I'm happy you're happy. I was purely myself. I would kill him. And how else would I react? A vagrant such as yourself couldn't possibly appreciate the See, now we gotta deal with this lady this and her bullshit. Has lifted from my shoulders. How would we? We still have to do it anyway. But regardless of your ignorance, I promised you a fee for your services. So a fee she you She wouldn't feel have. good about it. And I don't like her feeling good about it. Hmm. <sighs> All right. It's probably two steps back anyway. God, I really hope it is. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Like you do. Out with it, you wretched contraption. You ever seen a real life self? Dang it, if you interrupt the reloading process by in any way, it doesn't reload all the way. Does Felix, that make sense? Saltuna is a kind of fish. Lives in the ocean. You knew that, right? Oh, there. Are you serious? One right there. I must admit, I'm get. It is. I knew it. I just knew it. What a disaster! Did you get a good look around? What was it like? An endless, extravagant garden. There were even signs that said no frolicking. It was just one giant party. They had vodka fountain. And everything. Everything is gold. Golden streets. Golden chairs. Golden toothbrushes. <laughs> Jesus. Toothbrushes? Why, that is positively gaudy. I must have one. Yeah, head on down I there. I can't believe they kept this from us. From me. The nerve. The audacity. Yeah, this is better. Here, take your payment. I have to fetch my things. I don't care what I have to do. They'll give me luxury or give me death. Hey, if you insist. She's crazy. No, we should go down there and die. All right, map it up. All right, so now we go intimidate that guy. If she dies, she dies. That's very true. That's very true. My man. Like I said, 
I already showed my pass. And you're still... Now it's 65? Some bullshit. That's cruel game. That's real cruel. Like I said, X Well, we didn't ever level up, so you gotta do it anyway. And you're... Why did it go up? How many points we got? 50. Dang it. It's Intimidate, right? Like I... It's annoying. That's a real messed up game. Why would it go up, my dudes? Well, there's been a lot of Intimidation checks lately anyway, so it's good we put points into that. There's gotta be something we can, like, eat to like get our... Said. Our thing up a little more. Go to vending machine. Still not cleared. You think you're gonna eat something to get intimidate up five? Yeah. Huh. It's interesting because there's probably another way in there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because the the actual the actual thing isn't on that. But that is. Let's go to vending machine and see what they have. God damn it, Michael. There's gotta be like something we could drink to up that. Alright, so if we go straight and then go down the hall, we should find a vending machine. I really don't think intimidate is a skill you're gonna get from a vending machine, but I'll I'll do it. I usually drink makes all your like speech skills go up, like drinking in most of these games. Here's the other thing about Tossball. Tossball? Yeah, let's go to the bar, see what they'll say. Scoring goals. Got it. And you can score House of inebriation. The ball, throwing the ball. Or please allow me to. Alright. Uh, personnel, personality attributes plus one. Plus one. Plus one. It's all the same. It's all plus one. Do they stack? And by plus one, does that mean... Well, let's just drink it and see what happens. Let's buy a couple and see what happens when you drink them. Okay, so currently... Save it first. Currently, my intimidation is 60. Let's go to inventory. All right. Does not go up, no. So it doesn't affect that. Mind attributes. I don't know what that would, I don't know what that is. Oh, mind, intelligence, and perception. Whereas charm would be intimidate. So we need something that brings charm more. Body attributes. We need something that would, would make personality. Ah, oh, alcohol. Personality attributes plus one. The spectrum vodka. Okay, let's use two of these. And see if they go up one or two. Uh, none. But why does it say 65 by it? Oh! Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Hope it lasts long enough to get us there, I guess. I mean, we have three more. Hopefully that'll be enough, otherwise I'm gonna be real sad. Just like taking a mint hat. I hope my jet doesn't wear off by the time I get here. What's he talking about? That's a different game. Like I said. And you're Oh yes. god him. What? Waste my time when I'll bury you so deep in citations you'll die of paper cuts before you ever crawl out. Oh no. 
You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. Ooh, so sometimes you just gotta get drunk. No one told me you were coming. Please, go on through. And let's forget this misunderstanding, huh? Fucking got him. You stupid idiot. Why am I a stupid idiot? What? No, oh, man, not you. Not Michael. I suggested it all. There's nothing that could get your intimidate of. Ooh. Don't steal. I'm not stealing, you stupid bitch. You were thinking about it. You were thinking about it. Do I strike you as a thief? Yes. You dirty, grumbling little thief boy. Now you're back in the main hallway. You should not be here. can't do that, right? They'll just come after you me. You gotta go down the elevator, man. Where's the elevator? Right there. Okay. <sighs> Can I just lock this place up? Come on, hurry up, elevator. Definitely not expecting y'all to be streaming when I woke up. Same. Oh. Um. Uh oh. Oh no. What's this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That batch failed spectacularly. I saw I'm not supposed to be here. But no one's stopping me, so... Sounds like we're doing this! Alright, someone stopped me. Huh. Alright, so this does not seem correct. Well, I thought there was like a disguise -y thing you could use. Whatever happened to that? Uh, it just goes on automatically, I think, if you can use it. I don't, there's no, like, button you press to use it. Right. What about the door over there? Behind you. Over there. Yeah. This? Yeah. There's nothing in there, okay? Maybe you just gotta be a sneaky man. You gotta find an ID thingy from the disguise. Oh, you gotta find an ID thingy for the disguise. Congratulations, you opened the door we didn't need to. Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. Huh? Oh, oh. No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm going to need to see some identification. Dr. Endicott can vouch for me. Persuade one? Jeez, how embarrassing. I must have at home. You better show me some identification real fast if you want to keep your kneecaps. Let me guess. She's still holding the ketchup packet incident over Holt's head, right? We've talked to her before. She can't keep letting her special friends down here. Hey, I'm extra special. Get out of here. Right. I don't want to catch you hanging around. Dang it. Dang Wait, what? What? Why'd you reload? Because she didn't let me in, and I could have used a different... She was going to let you in. She said, get out of here. Move along. No visitors allowed. What? That's what I asked you. Except you sound like a wimp. Show me some teeth next time. Uh, okay. Thanks for the tip. Now you really have to go before I call in the other guard. Yeah, she's not letting you in. She's just dismissing you. Try the other one. Thanks. No, that's not going to work, man. Steel, oh, that's a plasma rifle 2.0? 2, 2 you know, like, all the guards are going to shoot you, right? Well, I better get a plasma rifle then. <laughs> no, it's not even that exciting. All right. Well. There's probably an ID in there, though. I don't think so. I don't know, man. There's lots of stuff in there. Wow, lots of stuff? It's worth a shot. Try the other option. I think I'm going to start taking my lunches out in the city. That one downstairs is still in the cafeteria. Plus, we might as well get the uh, speech check. I imagine it's here. The one who's been pounding the clerks? Ooh, his name is Shudders, too. You should probably be ducking when you do that. Then 
I'm just gonna sit in the kitchen and wait for him to do it again. Okay, and I can come back and wrap it up. Okay. Shh. Uh, alright, whatever. Nothing useful there? That's what I say about your brain. Wow. Got him. Sorry, I shouldn't talk. Not without signing a waiver. Okay, nothing here. Might as well get the speech check. A UDL security attendant. No visitors allowed. Okay. Let's try left it at home. Sure. I've heard that one before. Doubt it. My story involves three sprats, a half drain stun baton, and a gallon of stimulation. Oh, stop. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Just don't let me catch you again without your ID, okay? Oh, she's going away from the door. Right, but this guy's fucking right here, dude. So what? So... Easy. What the f... Why did... No one's looking at you. Like, he's looking the other way, dude. Man, you're bad at stuff. This is just ammo, my dude. Like, this isn't like a... Is that... Is that it? Yeah. You deal... Identity characters. Yeah. Here they come! He wasn't looking at me, Michael. <laughs> well, you weren't... Do it again, but better. Do it again, but better. You gotta say, we're in when you get done, or you want something that's true. Alright, we're in. Isn't that what they say in Fallout? I'm in. You should also take off your heavy armor. Why? Because it makes you less stealthy. Shut the fuck up. You got your mother's stealthy armor. A UDS size off. No visitor. Just don't. Well, you gotta wait until she's not looking at you, man. Very bad at this. I'm gonna actually murder you. Okay, tell me the ways of the stealth, Michael. You're so okay. fucking smart. <laughs> Talk. Try to open it again. Huh? She catches no you. Visitor. Do the lie thing. Just now wait till she walks away. And she now waddled duck. away. Wait till the people aren't looking at you. Alright, now duck and do it. Look out! Nope. She didn't duck first, she just started hacking it. I didn't way. duck the first time either, and it was fine. So don't make it seem like I gotta be ducking every single time. When the first time I did it, I didn't duck, and it worked just fine. Damn, moving the goalposts, my dude. I'm tempted to just take everybody out, alright? But we're so close. Ever here. We're not really. I don't think yeah, that's the are. way we to do it. That's literally the ID that will let you have use the little camouflage hey, thing that you need. Get transferred or something? That's right. You weren't here when it happened. Some UDL officers told right, but there's tons of way to get anything in the game if you just actually steal them or sneak. Like, we're, you literally didn't want to do that in the other situation. This is like the one exception. Why? Because these are terrible people anyway. You're not stealing from good people. Oh my god. There's got to be a way to do it naturally without, like... If you see any sprats loose up here, definitely don't touch them. I ain't touching anybody's sprats. I don't even know what a sprat is, dog. Someone needs to see those iconic class. What was that? No visitors allowed. I'm a lie. Let me guess. She We've talked to her before. Just get out of here. UDL security attendant is always prepared. Okay, look, I'm gonna crouch. You ready? Shh. Who's looking? Nobody's looking, right? Right. Is this guy looking? No. I feel like he's looking. Well, now someone's coming your way, so. Nope, no, he no. turned. Okay. 
Okay, oh, she's coming back. <sighs> yeah, I don't think this is it, my dude. You could also try sneaking around in that lab. What does our what does our thing say? Got away with the lab before. No it's like when we were down sure. there, we almost got through without getting seen. We could just try that. Law save us. Makes you wonder what kind of things the lab coats around here get to forgetting. Just don't let me. Okay, she leaves. That, it's like we got really lucky that one time. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, I don't think this is the way to do it. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a game based on like your physical dexterity. You're not. You have to be quick enough. Well, then just go down to the lab and try to sneak in that way. You almost made it last time. But that's the same principle. Like, there's got to be a way to do it where you actually are allowed down there. This isn't a game where you have to be sneaky. But on that note, we're at an hour and 52 minutes. I'm probably going to call it here and we're just going to try to figure this out tomorrow because it's getting a little tricky and uh, I don't feel like dealing with it tonight. But thank you guys for watching part seven. Really appreciate you guys are awesome. And uh, be sure to check out the other parts on YouTube if you guys have not done so already. But I don't know why you'd watch this one first. But you can also check me out at CoolStuffInc.com, Manitraders.com. Links and promo codes are in the description below. Patreon.com slash Frank And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later.